decentralized trials has been a big one lately and talking about AI and blockchain have always been, you know, something that we've talked about for a few years. But um, definitely this year, I noticed there was a lot more talk about sort of carbon footprint, ESG initiatives, even some of the technology demonstrations. They were talking about helping their clients lower their carbon footprint. So that definitely um, seemed to be a new trend that, that I was hearing. Ugh, a lot of challenges in the industry. It's always evolving. Um, I think the biggest one right now is being able to trust a, a right provider. Um, so you want to, everyone has their defined processes. So what can you do in order to trust a new provider to start that new process? Um, and I think it's important to, to build that trust. Trust takes time, um, but you know, that's part of the journey. Having a collaboration is something that is going to be a big challenge in the future, especially if companies or organizations uh, want to adapt uh, new technology like blockchain or artificial intelligence. One of the key concerns and challenges are obviously going to be how do you build that partnership with not only your internally but externally as well, right? Uh, the other big challenge that uh, a lot of organizations will have to grapple with is uh, related to data privacy, data confidentiality, etc. We'll focus on improved sustainability across industry, um, zero carbon emissions, reducing our overall waste uh, contribution. But of course, at the end of the day, we have to serve our patients and we have to deliver products that are safe and, and effective. So it's that fine balance. Um, but coming up with innovative strategies to, to achieve this, and um, there are some that are very attainable. Um, it's just being you know, creative and um, thinking about the things that we do that we can do differently, cycling products back, reusing, uh, returning. I think having experienced partners, investing in quality of supply, and giving good services, but may, mainly being flexible and helping uh, to find solutions to support their trials is the main uh, what we see as a challenge in the sector and also where we try to make be different uh, for uh, the sponsors and in the end the patients. Which challenges uh, I can see in the industry for sure you know going back to my data theme right if you want to pull data and make decisions from it it's about data availability. We are a very outsourced industry and I think we are doing more and more outsourcing to many different partners Pulling the data from them, having high data quality there is actually a big challenge that I see. You know, to deliver for patients and to, to move so that we can get new products out for patients in need, I think we're always seeing uh, more and more uh, squeezing of timelines, trying to move faster, get to clinic faster, uh, exploring more, you know, global sites and challenging markets that can be there for operating a clinical study. Um, so those are two really big items. And then really using technology to, to help drive what we do and give us better analyses and analytics to work with. 